What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Between Two Nerds. Today we have a very, 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 very special guest, Lisa Foyles. That's a lot of berries. I have to, I have to live up to that now. I was only expecting like one berry. Yeah, I got kind of, I kind of got like lost in it there yeah, for a second. I, I was like, just, uh, I better just, just like own it at this point. Yeah. Just <laughs> add a couple more berries just for good measure. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. thank you for having me on. I'm excited. Third episode. Yes. Be in the third episode. We've already, yeah, we had Jesse, and then we got. Uh, Josh and you, Josh. so now we've, we've done we've done the remake. Remake. I like all of those people, so <laughs> if good. We've like finished the arc of this entire show. Yeah. This is the last one. Oh, we did okay, it. We nailed great. It. <laughs> Three and out. Um, also, we're at the we're filming on location at the Escapist Expo. Yep, we in, are on uh, the floor, North Carolina. And, uh, so. Yeah, and yeah. hopefully, it won't get too loud, and everyone will be able to hear us. Yeah, so, so cool. It'll be good. Well, Lisa. What's what's been happening? What's catch been, been happening? catch me up with with Lisa Flores. <laughs> uh, well, actually, this is my first time at the Escapist Expo. I think is this their second expo? Yeah, or this is their second one. Second yeah. one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I wasn't here at the first one, but I mean, this is awesome. I'm excited yeah. uh, because I'm you know part of the Escapist. I have my show Allegedly. Top Five with Lisa Flores <laughs> that I work my butt off on every day of my life. Uh, but it's awesome. I'm having a lot of fun doing that. Um, uh, my game, Local Cycle, for Xbox yeah. One, is coming out whenever Xbox One's coming. Do we have a date launch for title. Launch title. Oh, is it, is it yeah. a launch title? It's a launch title, It's yeah. a launch title, yeah. I still haven't played it yet, but I've, been, I've looked at it at PAX, a bunch of people playing it. It's been playable at, like, three Xbox so. Here's the thing. I don't, I just I hate lines. I just okay. can't do lines. <laughs> but that's why you you have the special guest. You're like, excuse me, pardon me. I is it here? Well, do I they have it here? Because we play it here. Uh, no, not Oh, here. okay. Oh. I was like, so, what? Then, yeah. But don't, you know, you, the special guys at all expos, I assume. That's right. We're so, Excuse special. me, Lisa sent us. Yeah. <laughs> just tell just tell them Lisa Foyle sent you. Next time, okay. walk straight to the front. Be like, Lisa Foyle sent me here. Let me play. The, uh, the cool thing the is the it's T1, not the, the T1000 bike sent me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's Robert, it's Robert, right Robert Patrick sent me. <laughs> that's, that's, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that, that's going to come out. Wait, end of this year then? Yeah, whenever. Yeah, whenever. All those it's literally a launch title. It's day yes. one. Day okay. one downloadable. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Um, and what else you got going on? Uh, I mean, those are my two things right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I had a weird year where I like had a lot of family stuff going on, and I really kind of like stepped back and like reevaluated my career and my direction and just things that I want to do and. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, you know, I'm still doing my show. I'm still doing voiceover stuff. I'm getting back into uh, into acting a little bit more and writing a little bit more. So nice. I'm kind of, you know, dialing back uh, my time, you know, playing video games. I know that's ridiculous, what? but oh, no. you know, usually it's just play games as hard as I can, then write about games and it, and then talk about them on camera. But uh, I'm kind of dialing that back a little bit more. I've been reading more books. Watching more movies. What are, what are you know, it's what so weird. Beautiful. You sound like an adult, <laughs> like a grown up. Ugh. I actually went on. I went on uh, IMDb and I I printed out the list of like the top 250 movies that everyone should see before they die or whatever. And I'm like working my way through the list because I want to make sure that I've seen. You're bucket listing like, I, this early. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's it's weird, but I want to I want to be in the know. I'm sick of not understanding, you know, classic references, to movies I haven't seen. Like I haven't seen Scarface, and I haven't seen I've never Godfather. Seen Scarface either. See, really join nice. my crusade. The be Scarface, part of my Scarface is like one of the movies that I just haven't. It's like famous that I just I've never seen. I have seen Godfather. Yeah. Well, you played Vice City, yeah. so it's kind of. Um, yeah, it's basically the same. Basically thing. The same sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so how many have you watched then of, of this list? Uh, I just started a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm kind of going out of order because are I'll get to one where I'm like, yeah, I don't want to watch that one. But you, I mean, like, you still, no, you, well, yeah, some are on Netflix. You know, some I borrow from people, and uh -huh. some, you know, some you borrow uh, from the internet. <laughs> no, I actually have friends with very large movie collections, so I can whoa, do that. Whoa, whoa. Um, friend, friend, movie collection <laughs> dropping. <laughs> oh. But uh, you still you still have to be in the right mood for a movie, you know. Like you can't just be in a really great happy mood, having the, the best day, and be like, I'm gonna watch Scarface, you know. It's I don't know. You can't gotta like, feel it, is it an out. Investment. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. can't, unlike gaming, you can't just like start a movie and not watch. Well, right. at least I can. If I start a movie, I'm finishing it, or mm -hmm. I'm just it's a bad day for me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I have a question. Uh, how do you feel about subtitles being on for movies? Oh. I, like some people are so mean, passionately against it, and some people just like have to have them. So I'm just curious if you guys always have them on. No, uh, okay. no, I don't. Generally, do they, yeah. they ruin a lot of the like the pacing of comedy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I agree with that. And then I don't. Mm -hmm. I can hear. I've got small ears, but I hear. <laughs> I have that ability, and I don't. Your hair doesn't like cover your ears. You can't. <laughs> what did they what say? Did they say? <laughs> I just like Princess Leia it as like a funnel okay. to, to suck in the sound better. That's how it works. That's how sound works. 
Nice. Uh, right. And then also uh, tomorrow I have, or tomorrow or Sunday, one of the days I'm doing a panel about like the top five geek movies of 2000. 13. Nice. So oh, I've been. I went back and like rewatched those. So yeah, yeah. I'm actually. I'm getting like my movie on. Nice. 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 Are you? Yeah. Do you, are you gonna try to be in a movie? Maybe. May, I, I don't want to be in a movie. <laughs> that would be fun. Why too. would I want to do that? that? It would be really fun lame. to then be in a movie that's so good that you get to add you, your own movie you get to, to put your it on list. your list. To my list. Oh. If you're like, oh, what are we watching today? Oh, oh I just have to be in this little thing. <laughs> Oh, whoops, is that my, like, Academy Award-nominated <laughs> movie? It would only be great if oh, I got... Meryl Streep took it, though. <laughs> I would just love it if I could just bump off another movie from the 250 list. Like, oh, see you later, yeah. Avatar. Like, my movie's on there now. <laughs> Avatar? You haven't seen Avatar? <laughs> I just, I just, okay, I just so picked just a name, random You're just name-dropping James Cameron stuff here. Look, I, lo- oh, I just really liked it. I was like, don't bump <laughs> or you're Avatar. Talking, or you're talking about The Last Airbender. <laughs> yeah, you can bump The Last Airbender off. Take that oh, off. The Last Airbender is not on the top 250 movies. You have to see it for that. Okay, I'm just... You, it could, well, it could be... It depends you have to see it to know how not to make a movie. So, right. you know. Okay. There you go. Them, yeah. Like, the, all right. It's like the, what's or the just have a good, that's like so bad. Have a good conversation with them that channel and be like, this is what I don't do. Shamalam, alam, 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 alam. Sweet. Well, okay. Awesome. doing. Uh, you want to talk about what's what's happening this week? We got some stuff happening this week. It was this, a pretty good. Yeah. Pretty this week in nerd. Yeah. Let's see. Well, let's start off with uh, GTA Online. Yes. Came and out. how it uh, and how it doesn't work. <laughs> yes. It. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You expected if they would take was it two weeks? It's been how right. Long has yeah. It GTA was. It out? came out mid September, mm-hmm. like September seventeenth, right? And yeah. And now then they said, okay, we're gonna hold GTA Online until October first, and they're like. Sort of reasoning was it gives everyone time to play the story yeah. and stuff. Sure, but that's that's that's, that's the that's, reason. That's, that's totally the reason. Um, and then they release it, and it's very much broken. There's yeah. like a ton of glitches, and it's really really hard to get it, on. And they're like I, they're like trying to patch it now. I think they just released a statement that yeah they're like putting. They out just a patch patched the PS3. the PS3 version, and I guess they're trying to get the Xbox patch out yeah. by like in a today by some or day. something. Yeah. yeah. By as soon as possible, yeah. <laughs> because people can't play. So, uh, I'm not sure they were that they were being completely honest about them being like play the story first, then multiplayer. It's like that, that is, play the of story course first. they would be honest. <laughs> yeah. like, who's like, no, we want you to enjoy the story first. Like, okay, okay well, if if the story is good enough, I will just play, play the story first, anyway. anyways. You know what? Sounds like you guys weren't yeah. done. No, they were not done. I think like. they weren't done. And I don't know. I'm. It's hard because like I'm really forgiving with those type of things because. Isn't there just like no way to actually test this before they just release it? Well, like, I, you especially know, especially if you're Rockstar, who has just the they they don't put out any preview stuff for anyone. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, it's, you can't beta test Grand Theft Auto right. Online because they're like, we're not going to show you Grand Theft Auto Online. Right. Like, like, I understand SimCity and everybody being you know, ridiculously angry about that because yeah. that was the game, was, yeah. you know, the online play, that was the entire game. That's this true. is kind of, like, part of the awesome game we've already been given, so yes. I guess that's why I'm just like, all right, you know, work out your shit, do what you gotta do, and let me know when it's fixed and I'll come play. Yeah, no, definitely, because, yeah, no, it's already a it's super long, been super busy it's a super week, long because, game, yeah. and it's, like, amazing, so that anything at this point is, like, icing on the cake. Yeah. But, but it still does feel <laughs> like they're like it's a little it's a little janky. No, and it's been like I'm sure by next week it'll be fixed. Mm-hmm. So by the time we get back from the expo, we can actually play. So it'll yeah. be like, oh, this is great. I don't know what any problems anyone's have been having. You know, it just kind of seems like with anything, when you tell a massive group of people to all go and do that and do it thing, at the same time, you're gonna break it. You know, like the, yeah. the healthcare website, yeah. like you know, say everything. Like when there's just a ton of people, Way to make there's it going topical. to be. Yeah. But I mean, still, but like it's, when there's just all those people, it's bound to yep. break. And so. and I think that, I mean, it, it probably was, even though they were probably expecting a lot because it's Grand Theft Auto, it sold so, so well yep. that like I'm sure that billion even... billion dollars or something like that? Yeah, and I'm sure like, in two weeks yeah. they probably couldn't turn around, like, the like, server space uh, or whatever servers. to, like, so... That's true. It's you know it's fine, Rockstar. You made a great game. No, they still yeah, like you. Absolutely. That doesn't mean that means you should fix it though. Cause please, yeah. Please also, I want to plug. Uh, did you recognize that? Um, uh, did you recognize Danny Tamborelli's voice in the game I, as no. Jimmy? Who's Jimmy DeSanto? No, I didn't know that. Jimmy. T- huh. Do you know who Danny Tamborelli is? No, who's that? Little Pete from Pete and Pete. He was on all that on really? Nickelodeon. Like. I really? Haven't, I haven't who thought are you? of or said Pete and Pete in years. That's <laughs> he was little Pete. He had the petunia tattoo that, like, yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah. Am I the only but, okay. No, I mean, I, I think because you were probably, like, said friends it. with him. It's a little closer yeah. to you. No, I, I mean, I was awesome. on the show after he was already off the show, so we weren't, like, buddies or anything, but I just thought that was funny how, like, he did all this Nickelodeon stuff, and then he, 
like I he's been doing a lot of like music and stuff, but as far as like media, he feels like he kind of dropped off the face of the planet. Yeah. Like, yeah in terms yeah. of like TV and stuff like that. And then uh, yeah, I was just talking to him, and he's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, that uh, the new Grand Theft Auto game they announced today. It was like the day they announced it. He's like, I'm in that. Don't tell anyone. I'm like, <laughs> you can't tell me not to tell anyone. Is, is that like a huge that spoiler? Just puts Wait, a new why would on the character? Yeah. And yeah, why wouldn't that? Why, why no? It was like, it was well, I was thing? I was shooting a sketch with him, oh. like when they announced it, like the day they announced it, and he was just like so excited that he's just like, oh, okay. uh, I'm not supposed to say anything, but <laughs> but I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't like, help myself. Yeah, I was, no, that's it was pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. Way so, to go, man. They know who he is. You don't clearly don't know. Oh, speaking of that, uh, there's a uh, Pete and Pete reunion happening at Kama Kamikaze this year, and I'm hosting it. <laughs> Is it like a panel? Yes. Oh, we I may. There. I'll show we'll, it for we'll, that. I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll definitely be at Kamikaze. Sweet. Man. That is old. I can't. I, I don't have time. We're, we're filming right now. I can't just step outside and <laughs> just like revisit the, that part of my life. Just um, go watch a few. But that's definitely. Uh, that yeah. show was amazing. Mm -hmm. That show was way ahead of its time. Like weird and just. Mm -hmm. You should go back and watch it. It's pretty good. And if you have never watched it in the first place, just watch it for yeah. the first time. It'll be somewhere. Um, also, uh, Tom Clancy died. Switching, switching gears. Switching, to yeah. You just sad made news. it sad. Thanks. Well, I, okay, but it, it happened. It happened. <laughs> well, there's no good time. No, I just yeah. wanna, you know, that is true. Yeah. He did. So, yeah. He was. He, I found out. I didn't know that he was 66. He was only 66. Which, yeah. to me, I was like, that's amazing because he. He wrote like a bunch of his good best like, stuff. He, like he was young. Yeah, what have you done? This, this, <laughs> this. <laughs> I got Lisa Foyles on. Uh, this is our hunt for okay, Red. This true. is our hunt for Nailed Red October it. right here. Yeah. Is that um, my nickname, Red October? Yeah, he was yeah. like in like. Red hair. Yeah, Sorry. cool. Yes. Uh, in, in like uh, what? He's like twenties or thirties, and he was already like pumping out. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. So, mm -hmm. well, and then of course. Also in gaming, we have like mm -hmm. Splinter Cell and all the Splinter Cell is the one that's been Ghost that's been like Ghost Recon, the time. But yeah, War they, Fighter, a bunch of, Rainbow Six. There was a yeah. ton of a ton oh. of games yeah. that yeah, they he, did early he was on. like. I of course know of like all of his games, but I thought I always think of him as like a book, an author, yeah. and movie mm -hmm. first. But then when you like look back, it's like he's a huge name in gaming as well. It's yeah. crazy. So yeah, he. Uh, co-founded Red Storm, the studio, yeah. which is then was like purchased by Ubis Ubisoft, I think. Uh -huh. oh, okay. But yeah, no, his resume is ridiculous. Just mm -hmm. author, and then all the movies that have been, you know. Turned. Yeah, go look at his IMDb. It's yeah. like, like the people who played absurd, Jack Ryan, yeah. like Harrison Ford, like Ben Affleck, ben Affleck. and and uh, Adam, Chris Pine, Alec, Alec Baldwin. I was about yeah. to say Adam Baldwin. I'm like, <laughs> no, yeah, not yeah, Chris Adam Baldwin. Pine. Apparently, there's also a trailer for his. Oh video. yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't watched Chris, it yet. Chris Pine is going to be the next. Yeah, I like Chris Pine. You know what? He's, he he's no, visually like pleasing to me. <laughs> <laughs> he is. I'm not wrong. No, the, uh, the you want to argue about it? <laughs> I'm right. The Chris Rainbow's... Pine's a hottie with a body. I'm trying to stay on topic here. No. All right, you just like I'm dial down your Chris Dude. Pine love. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm, I'm... I think the uh, Rainbow Six Vegas games are some of my oh, favorites. Yeah, I probably I probably beat those probably three times each. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but I moved to Las Vegas, so now mm -hmm. I I live in. So Vegas. do you get to like? turn corners and be like, I'm going to breach this one. Well, it's funny. I Every was, time you enter buildings, you just, like, grapple <laughs> down, like, shoot your way in. No, I was I was walking through uh, MGM, the casino, yeah. uh, just a couple days ago, and I was like, man, this really is, like, the greatest setting for just a shootout. Like, there's so <laughs> many, like, places to hide. You can't and, say like, loud, though. To, well, no, That's like saying not. bomb on an airplane. You can't say <laughs> bomb, 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 bomb. Yeah. But, no, I mean, those games are amazing. And mm. the weird thing to me is that there's still no, there's still no reason why he died. He was just... Ill. Like, I don't know. They haven't really released the reason he died yet. Do you, wait, are, are you really? conspiracy theorists? Is the no, I mean, well, so, it's just kind of okay. So people die all the serious. time, and they always say like, you know, how they died pretty like right away. Mm -hmm. But he just kind of he was ill, and then he died, and there's really no reason why. So I'm just, you know, that's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know. I'm just saying. Now I'm a, well, now that we le let's leave <laughs> well, this air of mystery know. to the audience, see what they think. Maybe he was on to something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, he got too close. Tell us in the comments what you think happened. Yeah. They look at, like, really morbid. <laughs> Should we anyway, switch to some happier switch, news? Yes, let's switch to some happier news. So, Nintendo had a direct, yes. and a couple things were announced. Schroeder, I'm, I'm happy. you're happy because Sonic's, Sonic's coming back, back in the game. for uh, Smash Bros., yep. which will be fun. Let's um, see if he's... I hope they, you know, buff him a bit. They, needs, I mean, they need some help. They, like, they've, they've been good about tweaking yeah. characters. Like, Kid Icarus is back, but he's, like... Been mm -hmm. influenced by the 3DS game, like uh -huh. some of his movesets, yeah. and so maybe they'll maybe they'll revamp Sonic. A little I hope bit. so. Yeah. Um, 
also a Kirby. A new Kirby new game Kirby. is coming. Three DS, right? Is that yeah, three DS. Um, mm-hmm. I just I love Kirby. Yeah, so love Kirby. any any more Kirby is always a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I went on a mission like five years ago to collect and own every single Kirby game. Wow. And I did really well for a while, and then I just stopped. Because it was all the new ones. Because now all the new oh, ones are, okay. like, super expensive. Like, I got all the old ones, and I'm mm-hmm. like, all right. But then I just felt satisfied, because now I feel like anyone can buy the new ones, so whatever. I'll just wait until those were are you, until those What was are the, the Game Boy yeah. one? Was that just Dreamland? Dreamland, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was... Dreamland 1 and 2. That was one of the... Those were, like, one of the few games I had as a kid on the Game Boy that I played forever, yeah. and so I got it on the 3DS Kirby's eShop. Kirby's Dreamland was and actually, then, yeah, the first first uh, Game Boy game I ever played was was that. And it was at a friend's house and yeah. You know what's funny about that? I actually have fond memories of that. And little show was like, this game is dope. Yep. And then (laughs) I can't, I don't know what to do with the bomb guy. (laughs) Like literally, it was like, I was very young. It was, yeah. Kirby's Dream Land, the first game is the, actually the the cover art depicting him. Mm -hmm. Uh, They show him as white. Yep. Because they didn't know what color he was yet. Yeah, he was they hadn't pink decided. in all the other games, oh. but in that so, one, he was white. So yeah, they didn't even, like, his shoes weren't even colored. He's just yeah. completely white. They're like, we don't know what to cover. we got to ship the game. It's black and white. They, Man, won't, they won't know. Yeah. We don't, box art nowadays is not as epic and crazy as it was <laughs> back in back in ye old days. Yeah. In the old what was times. the What was the one they remade on the, three? like, they did a 3D remake of on the Oh, 3DS. that was uh, Kirby's Adventure. That... That's that's a really. I good didn't one. play that game. That's the one where they introduced all of his like, power like, like, stealing stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, this might be the best NES game. Yeah. It it it's controls so, so much better than any other NES game I had ever played. And also, it just it looks really good. I don't think I've ever played a bad Kirby. And, honestly, I think. And it really looked good, good in 3D. Yeah. 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 Kirby holds up. Cool. Um, and then what else is the big thing? Oh, and then I guess the the Zelda producer was saying that in A Link Between Worlds, yeah. they're like sort of... Oh, yeah, yeah, They're yeah. not really doing the normal progression of like dungeon, get the item in the dungeon to beat it. Mm-hmm. Apparently there's like a shop and you can sort of just like... You can buy an item there and you can then tackle a dungeon. And you can like sort of do it in yeah. in whatever order you want. That's That could be cool. Yeah. yeah. It's um, definitely a departure from the do three things and then plot twist and then... Do the rest of the dungeons, yeah. you know. So it's, or in like Phantom Hourglass, where you have to go in like the same cave oh, yeah, dungeon thing like bad. eight times. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, I I was forgiving. I I I think because it was it's the way because it was Wind Waker. Waker we I played, gave yeah. it a lot of leeway, but I was like, no, it's not that bad. And then now I'm like, it, is, it was really annoying. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. See, because I I treat my my console, my big console Zeldas, and my like handheld Zeldas differently. Different where age. I was like really angry with like Twilight Princess. For just sort of like feeling like a rehash, and I'm like, mm-hmm. they need to do new things. But I like my portable ones to be very <laughs> like by the books, yeah, by the numbers, like layout of Zelda. So I'm like, I don't know. I hope that just the like s- story doesn't suffer by it being more open. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. It's it's also interesting. It, it is another like pretty close to a direct sequel. Like probably how Wind Waker is a direct sequel to a uh, Ocarina of Time. So yeah, you know, it's a different link, but it's the same. Hyrule of the SNES game, so it'll be interesting to see what callbacks they have and stuff. So yeah, yeah, I'm excited for it. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, there was also some big news in the uh, in TV that you're excited about. There, there's several things. First well, of all, <laughs> Sleepy Hollow already <laughs> renewed for season two. What? That, that How shows. does that happen? How does that happen? Have it you watched it? Happen. No, I haven't watched no, it. But it's, I know it's, what it's about. And what? Because they made this. They made the headless horseman into the Terminator, and it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen episode three yet, but I hear yeah, it's no, we watched bonkers. Of the but uh, it's just, it's a really, really fun premise that's silly, but they know and they and you, do it. Well. And you they have know to, what and it is. If you accept, like if you accept the headless horseman shooting up a cop car with machine guns, you gotta accept the rest of the show and its corniness and its like. Cheesiness. Does it have like, a little like tongue in cheek? Like, yeah, it, yes. So it knows what it is. Like, yeah. it's yeah. not okay. All right, maybe we'll give it a chance. It's, it you know, is it's, absurd. It's very and it's. Oh, so good, and uh, well, yeah, and they they also like it's it's very supernaturally. Oh like, god, yeah. Which I I was my, like worried they were going to not do that. My biggest part of it. problem with Supernatural is that so I know the trick of when you're using a lot of special effects in television, you need to make it really dark so you can hide all your special effects. Mm-hmm. That whole show is so dark it's nearly unwatchable. Like I need to turn the brightness on my TV all the way up just to see what's going on. Yeah. I don't know. Like that just drives me crazy. These well, shows that like. I mean, it makes ugh. perfect sense to me because you can't come out in the daytime. So you know, I think you just 
you know. I don't know. Well, it's just, I mean, just kind of those shows in general, you know, like, yeah. I know it's forever ago, but like Bird of Prey was the same way. Just any show oh, that wow. just has birds like of prey. birds of prey. You just drop birds of prey. Just, you know, just these shows that like just I don't know. They have You're, the they ones... don't have like, the budget they need to. Oh, I'm... What? No! 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 They don't have the budget they need to make amazing special effects. So uh-huh. they're just like, let's just make it really dark so we can just hide it all, and then it's just like nearly unwatchable. But, yeah. Well, that's that. A lot of those are CW bu- yeah. shows, <laughs> and, their, and their budget's a oh, bit. This tighter. is network. Right. Um, yeah, I mean there are there are some like dark stuff, but there's a fair amount of day day stuff in in, uh, in yeah. Sleepy Hollow. But they're not doing. Interestingly, it, they have like a the first season is 13 episodes. And yeah. People were thinking that it was going to get like a nine a back mm-hmm. nine episodes, yeah, so but they didn't. Two is gonna be they're keeping them all. It's going to be 13 episodes well, every season. And I think that that makes like sense that. because they keep on. Then each season is going to be a new. Uh, it'll be around Halloween, so okay. like renewed interest every year they'll be like oh Sleepy Hollow's back because you know it's time for scary stuff to happen it's like the easiest sell too it is yeah, yeah. and I there's like, like when that like I always watched like the Disney version of Sleepy Hollow uh, when I was a kid on Which Halloween it's so creepy it's you know what you're right scary, like yeah. I've I'm finding it harder and harder as I get older to like get in that Halloween spirit because Halloween is my favorite holiday like I yeah. love dressing up I obsess about it for months in advance I'm like what am I going to be for Halloween and I work on my costume and I oh I love what it what are you this year but uh spoilers I don't know yet oh Honestly, no I don't know yet like I'm choosing I'm trying to choose between like three things so mm-hmm. it's like a real problem but like when I was a kid like I had you know you have your list of movies that like your parents are like here's the Halloween movies you watch it's like the Snoopy movie and the Garfield mm-hmm. movie and the, the yeah you know all the Mickey's this everything but now like as I'm older I'm just like I need I need my fix I need that thing that gets me in the hall ho- in the Halloween mood you know like if it's like a saw movie or something you know or, 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 sleepy, I was hollow. Gonna, or sleepy hollow, or sleepy hollow so like, yeah. now I'll, you know i'll give it a chance sleepy now, hollow have, and jack daniels i trust it's halloween trust it's your look, recommendation. look it's just just give it give it a shot and the best part is it's tough being like a genre fan a nerd fan because our shows don't always get to and especially on fox yeah, yeah. it doesn't always get to come back mm-hmm. fox because you're watching this um still not forgiven for firefly you have to worry it's already renewed. Yeah. So yeah. you so you don't like the the stress and and worry of like it not being renewed is alleviated. It's all now it's just great. That's just mm-hmm. so weird. Like especially like coming from the TV world, like nothing is ever guaranteed. Like even when you're on a show that's doing really well, you still don't know if you're going to come to work the next day and your show's going to be canceled. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's great that it's picked up for another season, but mm-hmm. I mean, we'll still see what happens. <laughs> like they're yeah. still not going to keep making it if it's not ends up not making money, but I mean, we'll see. That's know. true. But it's a better sign than it not. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's true. Yeah. 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 Um, another cool thing for me, uh, well, and for, do you watch wow. Arrow? Are you an Arrow fan? No. Do you know what Arrow is? Yes. Yeah. Um, the uh, character... Diggle, Diggle yeah. uh, his bodyguard, who is also his, like, not really partner sidekick, but partner in crime. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he has just been introduced uh, into the Green Arrow comics, so... Yeah. Yay! Like Harley <laughs> like, Quinn and Coulson before him. He's like he's an, another, another character that's been brought in from another media. Comics, which is so we're excited cool. about that. And good on him because I really thought Diggle was going to die. Yeah. And it's still, like, might happen because he's still, like, that semi-mentor character, you know, that's sort of he, holding... He's the kind of character that, like, you, Ollie, you're attached you know? to, but and, like, he's expendable, you're, you're, and, yeah. like, you're like, <laughs> they're just going to kill him off for, for like, cheap, cheap drama. Mm-hmm. Television. Oh. <laughs> Television. Television. TV. I hope um, they don't, though, because he's really good. So yeah, they need to yeah. keep him around as long as possible. Uh, Did you see the new Hobbit trailer? Yes. Desolation of Smaug. Got some Smaug action I'm in there. I'm so excited. Okay. I, <laughs> no, honestly, like I have been campaigning to all, to all of my friends. Like I really love the first Hobbit movie. Yes, I am an obsessive yes. so Lord of the Rings fan. And I honestly feel like the people who are going to appreciate the Hobbit the most are those people who just want to revisit these locations. They want to go back into the story world and they want to go back to Rivendell and they want to spend time there. And this, these movies are like, they're, I, I feel fulfilled after I watch them. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's not the stupid kids book that we remember reading when we were 10, but I mean, it's epic and it's awesome. And I love that they're stretching it out as long as they can because I want more. I can never get enough Lord of the Rings done well. So yeah. 
you know, there's tons, like, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but, you know, it's just hard being a Star Wars fan when it's just, there's, it's, you know, there's so many different movies and different cartoons and this and that and that, and, and it's just like, exist. Yeah, yeah, exactly, those, and it's hard to, yeah. know, like, that's kind of bad, but that's good, but that's awful, and that's awesome, but with Lord of the Rings, like, they're keeping it just really good all the way through, so I'm yeah, a huge a it, yeah. fan of the first Hobbit yeah. movie, so I don't know why people I got just so can't wait about for it. when the movie, after the movie comes out, there's going to be a lot of, like, Smaug and Bilbo fan fiction with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> oh, and, and yeah, Martin. Martin Freeman. He yeah. is one of the best actors of our time. Yeah. I swear. Ugh. I rewatched Which, both. No, both Benedict. Are, yeah. I, well, I rewatched uh, St uh, Star Trek Into Darkness again, yeah. and just like his performance. I mean, Sh Sherlock is one of the most yes, amazing Sherlock, shows yeah. I've ever seen. But like his acting performances, just oh. You're like bring it's me so to good. tears, it's ridiculous. His, this his guy's voice, amazing. Because he doesn't. He they do the little voice, the ominous voice over yeah. the end. Yeah, and, I'm just and like, it was like, oh, oh my god, <laughs> oh I want you to like. They didn't even put filters I want you on him. That's his actual tape. voice. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh so good. So yeah, I'm excited. A lot of yeah. a lot of people were like, did not were not big fans of the, the first Hobbit movie, and I thought it was an amazing mm -hmm. time. I thought it was incredible. I was like smiles the entire way me through. Me too. Oh. And it looked gorgeous in 3D. So. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, so awesome. Are you an Edgar Wright fan? Uh, yes. Nice. Edgar Wright recently tweeted uh, that picture, well, a, a picture, picture of Ant a picture of Ant-Man uh, on a green screen. He's like, oh, I'm just finishing up a little thing right here. Well, and okay, that I think got I us remember. Excited. I think I remember yeah. seeing that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think since they haven't really announced anything yet, I think it's going to be a Marvel one shot, uh, like they've been releasing with all the DVDs. Uh, like the last one had uh, Peggy Carter. Yeah. I think this one. I imagine it might come with the Thor DVD or the Captain America Blu-ray, you know? Yeah, because the Ant-Man movie's not supposed to come out for, like, two more years. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, it's got a while. So he's so not, if, like... If he's filming stuff, it's definitely not for the movie. Yeah. But I think it well, might they, be a, a one-shot. Because they, they, they shot that, like... Effect sequence, yeah. That, that they showed got out. Leaked. What did they show that off at? Like, Comic-Con? Yeah, it, it got leaked. Somewhere. Yeah, and it got leaked online, yeah. and then it got, like, quickly pulled offline. Yeah. But then, yeah, the theory was that they were going to, like, shoot around it to make it actually, like, a little self-contained storyline. Yeah. And then release it, yeah. So I'm excited for that. That'd be cool. Get a little Ant-Man action and see Ant what Edgar Wright's take is before you know the full movie comes out. Yeah. So. I mean, it's it's not Hank Pym who I am like a lot more familiar with, mm -hmm. but it's Edgar Wright doing it. So I will. Yeah, I'll do whatever you want. Whatever man. you want, Edgar. Whatever you want, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> It'll be great. Put Simon Pegg in it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Simon Pegg in everything. Yep. Let's see what else. Cool. I think that's actually about that's it nice. for uh, for news. Nice. Rocking so, uh, that yeah, is there any, any bits of news you want to cover? Or I uh, no, I'm just like getting sensory overload by like the people there's filtering and I'm like, there's just now. beautiful like costumes I'm seeing. I was like, ah. Oh. And the random bursts of accordion music. Yeah. That, like, happens. <laughs> we're, we're clearly missing something awesome. Yeah. I don't know why we're sitting here. Back well, there. well, well let's, <laughs> we will take, we'll a take a break. Let's take a break then. Uh, we'll come yeah. back and answer questions, and in the meantime, let's go check out what's going on. There. All right. Yep. Welcome back, guys. Yes. Hope your ad was pleasant. A good and, one. And yeah. uh, enjoyable. <laughs> and that they actually tried to write a humorous one, and then yeah. it paid off. All right, let's get um, to questions. Yeah, we got questions. So we just got a couple. We'll start with uh, from Emilio Silva. Who wants to know, how do you feel about Ben Affleck Ooh. playing Batman? Hashtag guess, Batfleck. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> I mean, I guess we didn't have the, the podcast when they first announced to yeah. talk about it, but... Um, I'm fine. I, with I'm, it. I'm I'm fine, and I'm excited for I'm that. I'm really excited. Yeah, I, I am. Yeah, I, I really can look past. don't understand. To, I guess everyone just thought Daredevil. I I don't understand yeah. why they just jumped to Ben Affleck is going to be bad in this. I mean, I guess because they always jump to that. They're like, Christian Bale's going to be shit in this. Michael mm. Keaton's going to be shit in this. Right. Well, yeah, it's it's a tough. People just are super protective of, of the casting. Yeah. Heath Ledger, yeah. like, if you're if you're cast in oh, yeah, a Batman Heath thing. Was, they're gonna hate you, like regardless of who you are. But I think because Ben Affleck is super, is like super popular, like his popularity garnered more hatred. Mm -hmm. like, Did it Jennifer garner more hatred? <laughs> okay, <laughs> hey -oh. Puns. Electra movie. Um, well, it, and what I'm? Oh, go ahead. Well, I'm just like that. The, the 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 Ben Affleck hate felt so old because. Yeah, he had been so popular with their references with were the like town and jiggly, like really. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna do jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. jiggly whatever. No, but he had, the, he had the town, and he had um, and Argo were like the, the big ones. He also directed Gone, Baby Gone, and also Hollywood Land was like a great movie. And yeah, when he played Superman in no, that and, movie, and, oh, and people were like, Reeves, yeah. and people were like angry that he didn't get nominated for director 
And then, and then, and then a few months later, to, just like, oh snap on him, and, he's a ter- and all of a sudden, he's a terrible person again. Yeah. He's just the worst I mean, person on the planet. Yeah, it, I mean, it's just really sad that in nerd culture, it really has kind of become just everyone just sitting, waiting to be offended. That's just yeah. kind of sad, but it is what it is. And yeah. I don't know, I've... I think Ben Affleck is I think he's a great actor I think he's an amazing director I think he really cares about what he does I think there's a lot of actors out there that just get a script ask how much they're going to get paid and then they do it and then they even talk crap about the movie after they make it but I think Ben Affleck really cares about the products he puts out there and just that alone I think is he's going to do a great job yes just based um, on the fact that he's he's like written and acted and and directed Mm -hmm. a lot of his more recent movies I, I don't think he doesn't do anything less than like yeah. really dive into whatever he's gonna do. What, yeah. what people should be more worried about is the fact that Batman's in this movie the, in the yeah. first place. <laughs> like they're, the fact yeah. that they're sort of like, Man of Steel didn't do exactly as well as we wanted. So take the little shoehorn, put Batman in there. It did do well though. It didn't. It, it did not live up to their expectations. Right, but but DC set. But, but like, for a for a movie, it did really well. It, it made a lot. That of is money. true for a movie. Yeah. It did well. But did you guys see the interview? I think it was uh, Ben Affleck and I want to say Jimmy Fallon. Yes, yes. Uh, we're talking, about, talking the about the internet hate, yeah. and they're like, just don't go on the internet for yeah. just a couple weeks. Just stay away. And he's like, ah, I can handle it. Yeah. And then <laughs> no, 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 first comment. No. <laughs> it's like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> oh man, internet internet comments. They can they can be hard sometimes. <laughs> Um, but we read all of yours, so you know, leave them below. Yeah, yeah. Be nice. Only, only good comments. I'm fragile. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think he's going to be great, and um, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, I am a slightly. They did. They have me at. It, it was. It was like really fast turnaround. Like it was not mm-hmm. exactly. They, I don't think they had thought it through completely. Well, for, for Man of Steel two to have Batman in it. They just like, yeah. Well, I don't know. There was just an article about Goyer, the David Goyer, who's like the, the yeah. producer, and I think he's right around it too. Yeah. He was saying that it's further along than people think. So maybe they've maybe, had this plan for a they... while. I don't know, but they okay. they said it's supposed to have bits of. I think uh, it, I think Batman definitely doesn't need his own movie again. So like that's that's a good thing. But yeah. It just yeah. I don't know. It I can't. I will very... never. I will never ever ever. Ever say no to a new Batman movie? Though I mean, yeah. that's unless true. like Joel Schumacher. But he doesn't, but he doesn't, he doesn't like, need new movies no! to like introduce him. Like definitely everyone yeah. knows. Oh, it's Batman. Right. Like, I know. want an origin yeah. story for Batman. How how did that guy get that way? Another one. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the cape and the, the hat and the little yeah. horns? I don't know. Bats. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? How do they work? Um. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, okay. Cool. Batfleck. Nailed that one. And uh, we solved the the, the Batfleck question. <laughs> um. And the second one from. Uh, oh, 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 updated Twitter. You're so popular, Davis. Like, hey, we, the collective warps on warps on tweets. Um, Clankio slash Taxio. Sorry. So what you put in is your name. Uh, <laughs> asks, if you could make a game, what would the game be and why? Oh, man. That's such a hard question. Loco cycle. <laughs> Loco cycle. Yeah. It would be Done. a game with, like, kung fu motorcycles, like, dragging a mechanic who can't speak English, and, like, you fight government agents. Boom. I right. My my game, and this is... It's gonna I'm be not Batman being paid game. to say this, but... Well, I mean, I guess, like... You as Batman. Well, I, like, aside from a Batman-related game, like, chivalry is just, like, already the game that I just, like, love. I just love first-person so melee you combat make, with, like, beheading. Chivalry? I would just, like... Yeah, I would just, sh- I would just be chivalry too. Yes. Okay. Chivalry's not dead would be the colon. <laughs> I don't know. And it's this- about holding doors open. Yeah. I don't know if this counts, but like, I think I, I think it was like it was like after E3, and I'd like had a couple drinks. And I was just like, I was like ready to just like just fix the industry, and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I want to. <laughs> Lisa Foyles fixes the industry. I want to make a game that like I can relate to, and I came up with this whole plot about how I wanted like like a post-apocalyptic world and it was called like sunburn the game where like sunscreen was like currency and there were no there was no shade or buildings and you had like figure out how to like get your sunscreen and like just because obviously i'm like the whitest person on the planet (laughs) and like you killed people with like magnifying glasses and it was like burning and that was apparently what i thought was going to be the greatest game ever it's like it's like a cool scene. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A quick time event where you like dive to the edge of the shade, <laughs> and you gotta yeah, you gotta just catch him. You just gotta like catch a, him right at the, and, and like, it like burns his face off. Oh, so, that like uh, yeah. that actually is like a legitimately awesome sounding game. <laughs> Holy crap! 
I mean, I yeah, I would appreciate yeah. it. It's like my everyday life. I don't go outside. It's scary out there. Yeah. There's the sun. There's bears. You're, but you're great to sit next to on a couch because it's like a, a human reflection. Can you guys you even see me? You don't have to bounce yeah. any light off. We just we get it. <laughs> nice. I like your light reflection. They're like, like the commenters like, what's with the lens yeah. there in the, in the screen? <laughs> that, that's, so Lisa. that's Lisa. That's Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. They had to have me on set at, at uh, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness like all the time just yeah. to create those lens flares. Like, like, oh, just stand over here. Stand over here. in there. Yeah. Good. Good. We can't see anyone's faces. Perfect. Nailed it. Good. Good amount of lens flare. Right. Oh, I'll be quick on mine. Uh, I I would like an open open world Sonic game. That'd be fun. An open. Ooh. I like it. Yeah. Because I think that they've been sort of doing it like with speed characters and different like MMOs and stuff. You can like run up buildings and it'll be a bit infamousy, I guess. So but get to use your powers around a city and nice. maybe then go into you know branch off into different zones. It should be a bit like Jack and Daxter, because all of those, the original one, all of their worlds were connected, yeah. so. Yeah. Probably a combination of Infamous and Jack and Daxter. And Sonic. Well, and <laughs> obviously I'm <laughs> Sonic in there, yes. But no rings. We don't, no. no. We're done with no. this. What's wrong with he, rings? He's back to, he goes for health. He has regenerating health in this one. <laughs> oh, he's what? like, oh no, spikes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh. He just has to hide behind something. <laughs> <laughs> I need a chili dog! It's a, like really graphic blood, but then it like comes back. It heals back. Oh my, yeah, chili dogs. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. That sounds game. fun. I would play that. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I would enjoy that. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, those are all the questions that we got at yeah. time. We <laughs> sort of waited too late to sign it's out. Also really and we're, er, it's really early West Coast yeah, time. It's yeah, it's so, way too early. Yeah. But uh, sweet. We, we solved. We got sunscreen games coming out yep. and and Batflex. And we saw Batflex, so I think we did a pretty good thing today. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Lisa, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. Lady. Ooh. Ooh. And and where can, getting a where bit can people find especially. you? Oh, at Lisa Foyles, my uh, Twitter handle. I'm pretty much just Lisa Foyles across the board on Facebook. So just look for Lisa just, Foyles. Just look for me. I'm Instagram, easy to find. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Do you have Pinterest? No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, awesome, right. guys. Keep keep watching. Keep on keeping on. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. See ya. Later. Bye-bye.